Hi everyone, welcome to How to Electronics. In this project, we will design an earthquake detector alarm equipped with a seismic graph, also known as a DIY seismometer. The system utilizes the ADXL335 3-axis accelerometer as a sensor to detect tilting, trembling, or any shaking movements caused by an earthquake. The Arduino code written in C++ retrieves acceleration values from the ADXL335 accelerometer and displays them on the LCD screen. For graphical visualization, we will develop a Python script. This script generates a graph representing the tilt or shaking state. This looks exactly like a seismometer. Additionally, a buzzer or LCD serves as an alarm. It gets activated whenever the shaking exceeds a predefined threshold. Let's get started and find out how we can do this. The components required for these projects are any Arduino board, such as Arduino Nano. We then need ADXL335 3-axis accelerometer a 16 cross 2 i square c lcd display a simple 5 volt buzzer a 5 mm led of any color then a 330 ohm resistor some jumper wires and a breadboard here is the simple circuit diagram for the project the central microcontroller processes data from the ADXL335 accelerometer and controls the display, buzzer, and LED. You can use a breadboard to place all the components together and connect it using jumper wires. Supply the power supply to entire circuit using the USB cable connected to the computer. Let's see the C++ Arduino code. First, we use Liquid Crystal I Square C library. You can find this library link in the website article. Then we define LCD address and number of rows column. Here, we define the buzzer and LED pins. We also define the XYZ pins for accelerometer. Then, we define some variables to store calibration values for X, Y, and Z axis. Some macros are defined here for reading some variables and comparison. Under the setup section, we initialize LCD and serial communication. Some messages will be printed on LCD display. Here, we configure buzzer and LED as output and also define their initial state. From these statements, we take multiple reading samples and calculate averages. The calibration messages is displayed on LCD here as well as printed on serial monitor. Under the loop section, we read accelerometer values using the analog read function. Then, we calculate changes in accelerometer values. Using this mathematical equation, we determine the magnitude of vibration. This statement checks if an earthquake is detected or not. The earthquake detection message is printed as well and buzzer LED activates. When no earthquake is detected, the values of X, Y, and Z is displayed on LCD screen as well as serial monitor. These statements turn off the alert after buzzer time. And then, all the happenings are again displayed on LCD and serial monitor. This statement is used to reduce LCD flickering and align variables properly on LCD screen. That's all from the code part. From the tools menu, select the Arduino board and also the COM port. Finally, you can upload the code to the Arduino board. Open serial monitor first. The system will initialize first. Then, the calibration will start. After a few seconds, the calibration will complete. Then, it will print the baseline values which are used for calculating the magnitude and comparison. If you check the LCD side on the hardware part, it will initialize with this message. Then the LCD will display the calibration message. During the calibration phase, keep the ADXL335 accelerometer still. Once calibration is done, the LCD will display the calibrated message. Finally, after calibration, the device is ready for testing. 
After this step, the LCD will show the X, Y, and Z values. Lightly tilt, shake, or move the accelerometer module to simulate vibrations or an earthquake. Observe the LED and buzzer. They should activate if the movement exceeds the set threshold values in the code. The LCD should display earthquake and show the X, Y, and Z values. Check the serial monitor to confirm the values match the movement you simulated. Now, let's visualize the accelerometer readings on graphical format that looks like a real seismograph. For visualizing, we need to plot some graph based on X, Y, Z data. Therefore, we will write a Python script that can visualize the ADXL335 accelerometer data. For running the Python code, I am using PyCharm. You may use other Python compiler. You may visit this website and download PyCharm. Then set the PyCharm and get ready to start the coding with Python. First, install the matplotlib library here. To install it, go to the terminal and type pip install matplotlib. In my case, the library is already installed. This Python code visualizes real-time acceleration data. X, Y, Z axis from an Arduino-based earthquake detector on a graph. From this line, choose the COM port that is connected to the Arduino board. In my case, it's connected to COM port 12. It reads data from the serial port, processes it to detect earthquakes, and plots the acceleration values over time using matplotlib. You may go through the code thoroughly for more detailed understanding. Run the Python code now. The matplotlib window will pop up where it shows the graph. Under normal test mode, leave the accelerometer stationary. The graph should stabilize, showing minimal fluctuations in X, Y, and Z values. Gently tilt or shake the ADXL335 sensor to generate acceleration data along the X, Y, and Z axis. Observe the graph to see the real-time data update. The curves for X, Y, and Z should change as you move the sensor. Simulate an earthquake by shaking the accelerometer rapidly. The graph should display an earthquake alert and the corresponding X, Y, Z values should spike on the graph. By following these steps, you can verify that the graph correctly visualizes the real-time accelerometer data and responds to simulated earthquake events. That's all from the project part today. The complete project details, circuit diagrams, source code, and written tutorial can be found on our website article. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.